Yo, it's Dr. Cool. In video, I will be doing a critical review of the current trending invention that is about to offset the global power and crown Africa the new king and leader of technological innovation in energy sector and automotive industry. In this, this review will Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered car, developed in collaboration with Kai Automotive, is not just a concept, it's a reality with two working prototypes that have been demonstrated and tested. Priced at an astonishing $15,000, this car claims to revolutionize the automotive industry with its unlimited range, no need for refueling or recharging, and groundbreaking microsonic energy device. Here's an inside and outside look at this vehicle, its driving performance and why it's causing such a stir. The car features a lightweight aluminum alloy body which not only reduces weight but also enhances durability and fuel efficiency, or in this case energy efficiency. The design is aerodynamic with smooth curves and a low front grille to minimize drag. The roof line slopes gently toward the rear giving it a modern sporty look. The headlights are LED units, energy efficient and long lasting, while the taillights feature a distinctive LED strip design for better visibility. The car rides on 16 inch alloy wheels fitted with low rolling resistance tires, which help maximize efficiency and provide a comfortable ride. The wheelbase is 106 inches or 2.69 meters, offering stability and ample interior space. The dashboard is clean and uncluttered, featuring a 7-inch touchscreen display that serves as the infotainment hub. It includes navigation, Bluetooth connectivity and vehicle diagnostics. Physical buttons are kept to a minimum, with only essential controls like climate control and hazard lights accessible via tactile switches. The seats are upholstered in synthetic leather, which is durable, easy to clean and vegan-friendly. The high-density foam padding ensures comfort even on long drives. The car seats five passengers comfortably with ample legroom and headroom in both the front and rear. The trunk offers 350 litres of storage space, which is comparable to most compact sedans. The rear seats can also be folded down to accommodate larger items. The interior uses recycled and eco-friendly materials to keep costs low and align with the car's green energy ethos. The car is powered by a 150 kilowatt electric motor delivering 201 horsepower and 220 pound-feet of torque. This allows for a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 7.5 seconds, which is impressive for a car in this price range. The handling is nimble thanks to the lightweight construction and well-tuned suspension. The steering is responsive, making it easy to maneuver in tight urban spaces. The car has a top speed of 120 miles per hour, making it suitable for both city driving and highway cruising. The unlimited range is the standout feature. The microsonic energy device continuously generates energy, eliminating the need for refueling or recharging. During the test drive, the car showed no signs of energy depletion, even after hours of driving. The device converts ambient energy, such as radio frequencies, vibrations, and electromagnetic fields into electricity, which powers the car's motor the and system. During the demonstration, the device showed no signs of overheating or energy loss, maintaining a consistent power output. The minimalist approach reduces manufacturing complexity and costs. The use of lightweight, recyclable materials keeps production expenses low. The absence of a traditional battery pack, fuel tank or charging infrastructure significantly cuts costs. The microsonic energy device, while advanced, is reportedly cheaper to produce than lithium-ion batteries. Collaboration with Kai Automotive allows for economies of scale, making the car affordable for the average consumer. The car is currently in the prototype stage, with plans for mass production starting in 2026. Pre-orders are expected to open in late 2025 through Kai's official website. Initial markets will include China, Zimbabwe, and select African countries, with expansion to Europe and North America planned for later phases. 
Maxwell Chicken Butso's self-powered car is not just a theoretical concept. It's a real working vehicle with two prototypes that have been demonstrated and tested. Its unlimited range, zero refueling or recharging requirements, and $15,000 price tag make it a true game changer. If mass produced, this car could disrupt the oil industry, render Tesla's EVs overpriced and provide affordable, sustainable transportation for millions. While skepticism remains due to the unverified nature of the Microsonic Energy device, the prototypes offer a glimpse into a future where energy constraints are a thing of the past. For now, this car stands as a bold testament to innovation and the potential for technology to transform our world. Africa have a task to act fast into adopting this technology, as the tyke to hesitate will further create the opportunity the oppressors are waiting for to strike out the head. And all hope will become history, and this technology will become a story that never reach out to solving global humanity energy crisis that politicians and world leaders are treating with soft gloves. So far, most of us still don't know if Maxwell Chukumbuzo's microsonic energy device is real or not. And I'll leave that to you to decide whether it's a groundbreaking invention or a scam. But here's something fascinating about his story. Because he couldn't secure a patent for his technology, he had to come up with a unique way to protect his intellectual property. Maxwell claims that he built his microsonic device with a self-destructive safeguard to prevent anyone from tampering with it or reverse engineering it. At the end of the video, I will play a clip of Maxwell explaining this self-destructive technology in his own words. But first, let me summarize it for you. According to him, the device is equipped with a small detonator that will cause it to explode if someone tries to open it up or mess with its internal components. He assures that the explosion is small and won't harm anyone, but it's enough to destroy the device completely. On top of that, he says they've added software safeguards as well. If someone tries to tamper with the wiring or the system, the software will trigger the device to self-destruct. This raises an interesting question. While this technology might protect his invention from being copied, what happens if the device needs repairs? Imagine taking your car in for routine maintenance and accidentally triggering the self-destruct mechanism. It's a risky trade-off, but Maxwell argues that this was the only way he could protect his invention after being denied a patent. Now I'm going to play a clip of Maxwell explaining this self-destructive technology in his own words. Listen carefully and let me know what you think in the comments. They've done it, we're trying to protect it. We've embedded it in the vehicle. Okay. Yes. And it has got a self-destructive technology. On the 150 wires on this car, if you try to tamper with five of them, we will classify. You destroy the Microsoft Energy device, both on the software and the hardware. That's how we're protecting the technology because we couldn't get a patent on ways on how to protect the technology in the event that we lose it. For example, we go in a country, we will set up a power station, there's a hostile takeover, we're kicked. How do you protect our technology? That's why we took the trade, the trade secret real route. Our patent is kept, in, our, our design is kept, the recipe is kept in three countries. And uh, the people who are keeping, they don't even know each other. The second thing, we try to protect the hardware side because if the engineer removes like a second board, you can trace, you can see that this is a rectifier, this is a, a microchip. So we put a small amount of a detonator to say, but that cannot harm anyone. But if you just try to tamper with it, you blow it. That's part of the second board. Also on the software, if someone can have the source code, he can try to do reverse engineering. So we work on a on an algorithm that if you tamper with certain wires on the vehicle, you are going to destroy the Microsoft device. So you cannot tamper with yeah. so you can't tamper with it. If you tamper with it, then you lose your <laughs> your investment. Question, what would be the market price for uh, right now we're still doing costing. I think before the end of this week we have the final costing, but it's going to be cheaper. That I will. Really, I can. Uh, so what? Which products do you have on the market? The, the car. The, the, are the batteries on the market? The green up off grid machines are on the market. The TVs are on the market. The bikes are on the market. The cars as well. They are on the market. 
So when you say on the market, where where would, where would one buy one? Yeah. So if you wanted to buy a battery, where would you go? Right now we're doing. Uh, I think you saw the company that we're doing, like in Zimbabwe, which was uh, doing that video. That's our agile centricity marketing. But right now we are using the Tesla model, uh, the Tesla model, which we are using. That we don't want to have middlemen because the price will be so high at the end users. So I'm saying people they will buy straight from safe in other countries, then they will get their products there. For example, we are setting up in Switzerland, so it is going to cover Europe and some parts of Europe. Then we have got other countries that will pick up in the, like in Central Africa. It's Using AI, a tool to oppress, exploit and increase hardships and poverty, especially in Africa, the cost of purchasing how to purchase will be shared by Maxwell Chikumbutso.